let me just welcome my boo boo to the floor. today's show <laughs> you guys are very very happy so i don't want to really take you guys time let me just welcome my boo boo to the floor because today's video is all about us and not just me you guys guys Kezu is here my baby boo my super hello, guy hello, hello. <laughs> oh god i'm very very happy i'm excited so I'm baby you're welcome. Thank you're so, you so so welcome. Thank you, thank you so and guys, <laughs> let him speak. Let him welcome you guys as well. Do you know why? Hello everyone and it's good to have you back. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome, welcome, back. Welcome, back. welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay guys, okay. today we will be doing a kind of reality talks. Yeah, reality talks. Because yeah. it's not I, just one thing yeah. that we're going to be saying. Yeah, as a follow up to your previous, My previous video. video. Yeah. So guys, you know the last time I uploaded a video, I talked about how I miscarried twice and God saved me and now today we are blessed with a beautiful baby God. Yeah, so today I'm going to be, you know, asking my hobby questions concerning those miscarriages, his reactions, his actions and then anything he has to say to you guys, he will be telling us about it. Okay, let's begin the show. Baby boy. Yes, yeah, really. Hey <laughs> God, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, let me ask you. Let's start. Okay, baby. Mm -hmm. You know, we got married, and then all of a sudden there were some challenges. But before those challenges, I want to know, as a newly word, what were your expectations concerning childbirth? Of course, expectation was to be a father, to have my own kid. Kids, like, okay. Get to have my own our kids. Okay. Not just my our kids. I'm tired. Kids, yeah. <laughs> okay, one of my expectation. One of concerning childbirth. That's okay. my question. Oh, sorry, sorry. To have kids. Yeah. Okay, guys. That is it. So now the second question: If your expectations were to have kids, and then people got married, all of a sudden there were challenges such as miscarriages, not just once but twice. What was your reactions? How did you feel about it? Okay, of course, I felt devastated. I felt oh. bad and so unhappy. Oh God! Yeah. He felt devastated and so unhappy. Okay, baby, okay. if you felt devastated and unhappy, how did you handle the situation? Okay, um, just to summarize, you know, first of all, we know God instituted marriage. Okay. And uh, the first person I consulted was God. Oh. Yeah, because um, I needed him, like, it's like I needed him more, not as if I don't need God uh, in all my life. I needed yeah. him more at that time because there was a new phase. And so I, I, I cried to God. Okay. I committed the situation into God's hands. Okay. And he made everything look so simple and wow. bearable. Good. Yeah, okay, fine. If that was the situation, committing it in God's hands and he helped you to make things bearable. So yeah. you were able to bear Yes, yes because this. it wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was able funny. to it bear it. It was not a palatable Okay, experience. fine. If that is the case, that was the way you handled the situation. May we know how you handled your wife. How did you treat her at that particular time? Okay, um, I must, oh, sorry, personally, yeah, I realized that I didn't just marry her for the sake of, oh, I'm single and it's about time for me to mingle, no, because we are now one flesh, Yes. and whatever pain she is going through, I should be going through too, Yeah. so I put myself in her shoes, mm -hmm. okay, so I was able to encourage her, because Funny thing, funny thing, she was strong, yeah, because she yeah. was actually um, strong, she was, she had that courage, she was even relaxed, you know, that actually gave me the boldness, more boldness to stand by her, to be there for her, and ensure we pass through that phase together. Okay, yeah. in other words, you handled it properly, more like... You took care of your wife in of that course, situation. Course, yes, yes. You shared the pain. Exactly. With her. Yes. I didn't that just, is what he yes, said. Yes, I didn't let her alone. I just 
Abandoning her. Abandon her. her. Make you feel as if uh, okay, you're close to okay, carry. Okay, no, okay, no, no. guys, remember I'm here. So if he lies, I will say it's a lie. <laughs> so truthfully, he was right with me. He was just there for me. He helped me pull through the mall. So it was easy for us. Yeah. Okay, another question. Which should be maybe the last question. Okay. okay. Guys, I want to ask my husband to tell you guys or to advise you guys on how to handle situations as this in your marriage using himself as a contact, the way he handled it during his own time. Let him advise you guys on what to do. Maybe some people that might be passing through this kind of situation yeah. at the moment or we are not praying for anybody to miscarry. Mind you, we are not praying for anybody, but for people that might or that are already passing through this experience, I want him to advise you guys based on his own experience, how he handled it. I want him to advise the brothers, especially the guards, especially on this matter. So baby, can you advise okay. our audience? Okay, now very important. Um, I'll use my name Samuel to give you the the, the the thing you need to know yeah how you need to handle such a situation, situation. okay now uh, s a m u e l uh, someone yeah. is spelled that way now the first letter s, s. i was sincere okay oh, yeah i was sincere because i was sincere with myself and i was also sincere to her now it was a strange face we didn't see it coming yeah and I needed to be sincere to myself that see you're in for, for this with her. Yes. You know, and I ensured throughout the process, throughout the phase, from the very first day to the last, the last day, I was sincere about loving her and about giving her all the support she needs. Now the next letter, A, I was affectionate. Okay? A, yeah. I needed that's for A now. I told you, I told you the First letter is S sincerity. Okay. So the, the the next one A for affection. I had to give her all the support she need, all the affection. Yeah. You know, I I I ensured I was there for her when she was, uh, you know, uh, bed when she was, you know, bed rest. Bed giving her the uh, during her bed, bed rest, rest when yeah. she needed assistance. I tried as much as possible to be there yeah for her. and then we move on to the next letter m i was mindful of the things i say at that time i was yeah. also mindful of how i interacted with her related with her because there was need for me to know that this woman is going through this pain and i was mindful of her pain i was mindful yeah. of her current situation at that time so i ensure yes. i was careful with the things i do and the I things see. i said that time yeah. so move on to the next letter u understanding when you i understood the fact that we are one yeah okay and if i am not happy she should also not be happy mm -hmm. if she's happy i should be happy too exactly. so i had an understanding at the back of my mind that hey young man this your wife understand the fact that this thing was not planned yeah it was not planned. planned so i had understanding and I, and I understood that if she must come out strong i ought to be there for her throughout okay, okay? so the next one e exercising authority as the priest of the home i understand because we have this non-popular image we have the umbrella we have god we have the husband we have the wife we have the children Children's. so i knew i was praying for the will i prayed to god for a will of god in marriage so i have that access to him i exercised my authority in god through prayers because yes. humanly speaking on our own we wouldn't have done conquered. anything we wouldn't have conquered. but because of that priesthood that connection yes. i have from god by the grace of god i was able to seek his face and he gave me the strength to yeah. carry on and push through and then the last letter love i ensured i loved her all through i ensured i cooked mm -hmm. <laughs> i did the laundry jobs i went to the market i supported her because at that time she couldn't do anything literally she couldn't do anything so i had to love her not just saying it I showed it and we shared 
we shared all what we you know we shared together meaning sharing her pains the bad moment everything we, we both shared the good and the bad moment together and it was actually a bad moment at that time so we shared in i didn't just exempt myself at all okay he so, didn't. so so a recap <laughs> kind of having the sincere mind yeah. a affectionate m be mindful, mindful. e exercising, exercising authority. authority you Having understanding. an understanding that two two persons now and are now cool. one flesh. You must have the understanding. And L, your love, 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 love is very important. Please, why you're showing the love? Because any man that loves his wife should also have um, empathy. Yeah, show empathy. Yes, yes. You should yes. show that. Put yourself in, in her shoes. It's yeah, not easy. Condition. Please, not guys, easy. it's not easy. At that particular time. What she needs more is you. Yes. Don't yes. say ah. Your presence. Yes. Your and support. be mindful of what you say to her. Yeah. Some guys or some brothers or men, when their wives are passing through such situations or circumstances, they will just feel relaxed and then they say which bed dress is you know miscarry. Since you've lost the bed, yeah, you will just be careless. Yes. Have such, and then at the yeah, end of the so, day, so, you expect so her to disgusting. be healthy and uh, yeah. if you don't treat her fine, she will not heal immediately. immediately. She will not heal very fast. So if you want you a woman to heal fast you have to do just what my husband has oh, said using some words yes. using some word yes, yes, as yes. your mm, what guideline you know? guideline. Guideline. Yes. Yes. guideline guideline guys trust me if my husband had lied here i would have finished him off mm. yeah he really tried he's yeah, good he tried though. for he's me good, <laughs> it was actually good yeah he tried yeah. for me we, we were through it together mm. no no caps he, we were through it together Okay, guys, so that is it for today. Remember, when we prayed, God answered us. Like I said initially on my, my previous video, we had to um, continue in prayer. We continued praying. We continued thanking God. We were praising God yes. even in that circumstance. Yes. We did not give up. We did not say to us, since this kind of thing has happened to us, no need of praying or praising or worshiping. We kept on praising. Yes, and I can remember praise. 31st night. Uh, I even had to write it down. Babe, That's December. Remember? The yes. of December 2021. Yes. yes. We wrote it down. God's, God's promises and what God told us to do in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 where he said, go into the world be fruitful, fruitful increase multiply fun. and all that it was actually we said that this year was going to be our season of refreshing exactly. and indeed god refreshed yes, he us he did, he did, don't worry did. guys i'm going to be showing you guys the full stuff i wrote down it's here you won't see it now so i'm going to just zoom it and screenshot it and show you guys later to show you a proof of what we did yes yes, yes. and very important as a couple and show you jot down those things you're craving God for, you're, yes. being, you're, you're believing the Lord to do for you, life. you want Him to Pray do something, fully. just put it down for the record, because look at it, we have our record, and God has proved Himself in our lives, yes, so. so make sure whatsoever you want God to do for you, itemize them, yes. I, I, tr I trust that the Lord will meet you at the point, point of because God life. answers yes. prayers, he does and whatever prayers. be your desire, whatever be yeah. the desires of your heart, the Lord will surely grant Amen. it to you, in Amen. Jesus name, Amen, Amen. Amen. alright guys, we love you we love all, you. we love, we you. love you all, that's we why we are you. sharing this, yeah. we love you all, and we want you guys not to be discouraged, yeah. to keep trusting God, for whatever it is yeah. you want him to do in your life, so for more videos, please subscribe, it's free, yes, no, subscribe, subscribe. Is free. It's free. Yeah. It's free. Just click on the notification bell as well so you'll be notified whenever we drop okay. our videos. Like and comment. So, guys, we the Star Wars Builders, we love you all. We love you. We love Take you. care of yourselves. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>